it's always fun to start a presentation with a bit of a cool feel to it, the cinematic feel to it. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do that in less than five minutes and how to apply that on any one of your presentations. All right, let's get into it. So let's just start with the clean slide. You're just gonna add in a any picture, any old picture you want. Gonna, you know, make sure the picture takes the whole uh, slide. What you can do if you want to make sure it kind of fits your your slide, you can actually um, crop it and you can use the aspect ratio. The 16 to 9 is the type of uh, kind of slide ratio I have, but you can play around with the different aspect ratio. Typically for most PowerPoint settings, 16 to 9 is going to be the default setting you're going to have uh, and it's going to naturally work to uh, your benefit. So you're just going to, again, extend that to your full slide. We're going to first do like that zoom feeling, you know, that whoa type of feel to it. Let's just copy and paste this one. I'm going to select the corner, click on control shift. And what it does is that it makes sure the picture stays center. And then you stop dragging it the moment you feel it's big enough. And you just apply a transition, a morph. So you can see it now, the morph transition. So let's just do a full screen, see what it looks like. So that's what it does. It just kind of kind of zooms in to the picture as understanding that from one slide to another, it's bigger, but it, it kind of understands that it's just, it's just zooming in. So um, pretty cool transition. And right now we're going to give like the cinematic feel to it. So for those of you guys who are born in the 80s or 90s, you might remember um, most movies had those black bands, top and bottom. Um, and I really, I don't know why, but I still like that, that feel to a movie or a slide. Um, it gives, I don't know, something more official, interesting, appealing. It, it sets the audience in a bit of a cinematic mood where they're sitting back and really listening. So the thing is, if you can just add those two black rectangles, um, but because we have a transition, it, it, it doesn't work the way we think it would work. It doesn't stay there because it's on this slide, right? So we're going to copy and paste that put that on the next slide as the final slide. And because there's a transition um, type of animation, I'm going to move those out of frame. Oh, sorry. Move this one out of frame as well. And once I click on display, I just want to see what happens. What it does is a transition understands that the rectangle is out of frame and then becomes in frame and it transitions them back in. So it creates a, a bit of a feel of a animation. So now let's just see if I can add uh, that fuzzy feel to the picture. So I'm going to add a shape. Uh, what you saw that um, I created a separate slide with my picture. You're going to understand in a couple of seconds what's going, going to happen. So this is my final product. I'm going to add a bit of a cutaway shape. Um, here where I'm going to put my text in there. Let's just center, center. Um, and I'm going to go to my last slide. This is going to be my kind of a workshop area where you're going to cut away. I'm going to select the back picture and then shift and select the shape. I'm going to go to the like the function where it intersects. So it gives me like what is the intersection. So it's a bit like cutting away a piece of the picture which fits that shape. That's a great function because let me copy and paste this one, remove this one, put it back in there. Well, there you go. You, like you're wondering, so what happened? Well, it's it's here. You don't see it, but it's, it's perfectly here, perfectly centered. And I'm going to click, double click, double left click and add a artistic effect like blur, which kind of what I like to do and it, it gives that feel to it, right? So let's just see what it looks like. Um, there you go. So I'm going to put a text above that. Let's insert text box. Um, all caps. Let's just say 
coming soon. And you can download this font. I like to use the airstrike font. Um, absolutely free. And it just gives that top gun type of Tom Cruise feel to it. Uh, I don't know. I like, I, I like the way it looks. Um, can't quite see it. Let's just select that, put that in white, see what happens. Because there's some space here. Let's just put this one in black. Okay, that's reasonable. So you're going to select your text, shift, and the kind of a picture box and select control G. And you kind of just group them now. You're going to add, select the grouped objects and add a animation, like a fade animation. And you're going to give a bit of a delay. You don't want it to pop in because if you do it right now, what it does is that, um, let's just go back here. Yeah. Previous slide, you transition into this slide and then you got to click again and it appears. I don't want that. I want it to appear uh, on a time basis with a small delay. So I'm going to add a second of delay and it starts not on a click, but with previous. Previous means as soon as a whatever event before happens and the event before is the, you know, the actual slide is being displayed. So from one slide transition, like transitioning to another with a small second delay for coming soon. So stay tuned for my next videos. I'm going to show different creative ways to make your presentations more fun, more appealing, and ultimately it's for you to reach your presentation objectives. All right, take care guys.